Doubt is a word that echoes in the chambers of the human heart. It is a whisper that can either paralyze us with fear or propel us into a deeper understanding. We have all felt the sting of doubt, haven't we? That nagging question, that unsettling uncertainty, it can shake us to our core. Doubt is not the enemy of faith, it is its refining fire. It forces us to confront the difficult questions to examine the foundations of our beliefs. This process can be painful, but it is through this struggle that our faith emerges stronger, more resilient. Like a seed buried in the darkness of the earth, doubt can lead to new growth, a deeper understanding of ourselves and our faith. It is in the wrestling, in the questioning, that we truly discover the strength of our convictions. Let us not shy away from doubt, but embrace it as a catalyst for growth, a stepping stone on the path to far more profound and authentic faith. I too have wrestled with my share of doubts. Moments of darkness and uncertainty have punctuated my journey of faith. There were times when the weight of the world seemed to press down, threatening to extinguish the flame of belief within me. I remember vividly the intellectual struggles of my youth, the philosophical dilemmas that seemed insurmountable. The problem of suffering, the existence of evil, the seeming contradictions in scripture, these questions haunted me, casting long shadows of doubt. But it was in those moments of wrestling, of grappling with the unknown, that I discovered the resilience of faith. Like a muscle strengthened through resistance, my faith grew stronger through each challenge, each doubt confronted and overcome. These experiences taught me that doubt is not a sign of weakness, but a natural part of the human condition. It is in our moments of greatest questioning that we are often closest to a breakthrough. The pages of history and literature are filled with stories of individuals who have grappled with doubt. Consider the biblical figure of Job, a man renowned for his righteousness and piety. Stripped of his wealth, his family, and his health, Job found himself questioning the very foundations of his faith. Why, he cried out in anguish, why have you forsaken me? Job's lament resonates with the raw, unfiltered emotion of a soul in torment. His words echo the cries of countless others who have faced unimaginable suffering and loss. Yet, even in his despair, Job never completely abandons his faith. He wrestles with God, he questions, he argues, but he never lets go. And it is through this struggle, this agonizing process of doubt and questioning, that Job's faith is ultimately refined and deepened. Job's story reminds us that doubt is not a sin, but a natural human response to suffering and uncertainty. It is in our moments of greatest darkness that we are often closest to a breakthrough. Doubt, when approached honestly and courageously, can be a crucible in which our faith is purified and strengthened. It forces us to move beyond superficiality, to delve into the deeper truths that underpin our beliefs. When we confront our doubts head on, we are forced to examine the reasons for our faith. We are challenged to think critically, to wrestle with difficult questions, and to seek answers with sincerity and humility. This process can be uncomfortable, even painful at times. It may require us to reevaluate long-held beliefs, to confront our own biases and assumptions. But it is through this process of questioning and seeking that our faith can mature and deepen. Just as a blacksmith heats metal in a crucible to remove impurities, so too can doubt refine our faith, burning away the dross, and leaving behind a stronger, more resilient core. When foundations tremble, there will be times when the very foundations of our faith seem to tremble beneath our feet. Moments of crisis, of loss, of profound suffering can shake us to our core, leaving us feeling lost and adrift. It is in these moments, when the familiar landmarks of our faith seem to disappear, that we are often tempted to give in to despair. The temptation to abandon our beliefs to surrender to the darkness can be overwhelming. But it is precisely in these moments of crisis that we must cling to faith. Even if it feels like clinging to a slender reed, for it is in our weakness that God's strength is made perfect. It is when we are most vulnerable, most broken, that we are most open to experiencing the transformative power of grace through the eyes of a skeptic. Some may argue that doubt is a sign of weakness, that true faith requires blind acceptance, but I believe that such a view is misguided. It is only by grappling with doubt, by looking at our beliefs through the eyes of a skeptic, that we can truly appreciate the depth and complexity of faith. Imagine a world without questioning, without doubt. It would be a world devoid of intellectual curiosity, 
of scientific discovery, of artistic expression. Doubt is the engine that drives progress, the catalyst for innovation and growth. In the realm of faith, doubt can play a similarly vital role. By forcing us to confront difficult questions, doubt can lead us to a deeper, more nuanced understanding of our beliefs. It can help us to move beyond simplistic answers and embrace the mystery and paradox that lie at the heart of faith. The refining fire of doubt. Doubt, like fire, can be both destructive and creative. It has the power to consume and destroy, but it also has the power to purify and refine. The key lies in how we choose to engage with it. If we allow doubt to control us, to paralyze us with fear, it can indeed be destructive. But if we approach doubt with courage and humility, it can become a catalyst for growth, a refining fire that burns away our impurities and leaves us stronger and more resilient. The process of refining gold provides a powerful analogy. Gold ore is heated to intense temperatures, causing impurities to rise to the surface where they can be skimmed away. What remains is pure gold, more valuable and beautiful for having undergone this fiery trial. In the same way, Doubt can help to purify our faith, removing the dross of superficiality and leaving behind a core of genuine belief. Finding faith in the ruins. There will be times when doubt seems to have won the day, when our faith feels shattered and broken. We may feel like we are standing amidst the ruins of our former beliefs, unsure of where to turn or what to believe. But even in these moments of profound darkness, there is hope. For it is often in the ruins, amidst the shattered fragments of our former selves, that we discover a deeper, more authentic faith. Just as a master craftsman can piece together a beautiful mosaic from broken shards of glass, so too can God use the broken pieces of our lives to create something new and beautiful. He can take our doubts, our fears, our failures, and weave them together into a tapestry of grace and redemption. The Unseen Order Faith, at its core, is about trusting in something we cannot see. It is about believing that there is an unseen order to the universe, a purpose behind the pain, a hope beyond the grave. This is not to say that faith is blind or irrational. On the contrary, faith is grounded in reason, in experience, in the testimonies of countless others who have gone before us. But it also requires a leap of faith, a willingness to believe in something beyond what we can see or prove. The great physicist Werner Heisenberg once said, the first gulp from the glass of natural sciences will turn you into an atheist, but at the bottom of the glass, God is waiting for you. Heisenberg's words remind us that the more we learn about the universe, the more we realize how much we don't know. And it is in this space of mystery, of awe, that faith finds its footing. Embracing the paradox. Faith is not about having all the answers. It is about embracing the paradox, about holding seemingly contradictory truths in tension. It is about acknowledging the mystery of the universe and our place within it. The doubt and faith are not mutually exclusive. They are two sides of the same coin. Doubt, when approached honestly and courageously, can lead to a deeper, more authentic faith. It can help us to move beyond simplistic answers and embrace the mystery and paradox that lie at the heart of belief. So let us not fear doubt, but embrace it as a catalyst for growth, a refining fire that can purify and strengthen our faith. For it is in the wrestling, in the questioning, that we truly discover the strength of our convictions and the depth of God's love.